Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, grasshoppers. It is once again time to attempt to outwork everyone every single day. Yes, that's right. If you want to be great at anything, it is time to try to attempt to outwork everyone every single day. Just want to check those two at the end. Vulcan Dues. He did play his game. This fellow did not play his game. Tempted to throw him out of the dojo. Really a bother. Do a little research on where his only club, and he's only played nine games. Hmm. Time spent playing active one hour ago, so he was almost on. And he's a member since New Year's Eve. So it's kind of hard. Kind of hard to toss him out. He's going to learn his lesson the hard way. Hopefully he'll be here for tomorrow's event. He will not be able to enter the event until after round one has started, as he has a 24-hour ban. Unless it's his first offense, which of course he's got a little bit of a warning. Now we do have some amazing stuff coming in. Let's just go to uh, just chatting for a moment. So we have not just one of my favorite books in the background, the 1000 best of the best, nor do we also have not far from that, right below it in fact, informant, chess informant 157, but we also have a fresh package more than likely from chess informant. Let me just make sure I put up chess informant for those of you who may or may not be watching. So while we have us, it's just the safest way to cut in one of these bags is find a safe area. Just slice along from the inside across. And then we'll remove the first layer of packaging. Put that aside just in case we need to use it again. I doubt it though. And then, next up, hold the phone. Make sure we have everybody here. Not that, not that critical, obviously, but Chess Informant 158, I believe, is in here. Looking for the best possible seam. Not actually injure ourselves anyway. All right, this might do. Open the box with just the one end. And we will pull out whatever study material we have. Nice. We have a bonus. Not only. Is it Chess Informant 158, Aurora? As announced by Eric Keto the other day. Nicely wrapped in packaging. But it's also... Positional Sacrifice in Modern Chess by Grandmaster Nestorovich Nikola and uh, International Master Dejan. Nesterovich Dehan, the two Nesteroviches. Very cool. Now, I am hoping that we're going to have a new episode of the Perpetual Chess Podcast coming out today. And that's Perpetual Chess Podcast. That already came out last night. Catch up, everybody. Catch up. But the French Bishop Chess Cast hopefully will be coming out today. We're going to have to add this one to our rotating schedule of stream. I can't.
can't believe they didn't do a book on the match, Nepo versus Ding. One critical element for all books, obviously, is that they don't just start with a position that you have to set up on the board, which does help. But I like to see complete games, and this book indeed does have complete games. Reading from a selection of chapter titles here, besides Positional Pawn Sacrifice, as the section that is the first, the Positional Exchange Sacrifice, these are all modern games, mind you. All games that took place very recently, relatively recently. For example, the Positional Exchange Sacrifice. Let's see if I can grab one of those. I didn't go far enough. In the Positional Pawn Sacrifice, it is Giri Rajabov from Geneva, 2017. And... From the positional exchange sacrifice, we have Kramnik versus McShane, uh, London Classic 2012. So these are all modern examples. <coughs> and we will be working rather feverishly on those books today. We also have in the background a lot of work to do. Lucy, we have a work to do. From MD Night Zero. We are also feverishly working upon the Cambridge Springs 1904. Uh, one by Frank Marshall by s two and a half points. It was a rather incredible victory by Frank Marshall ahead of Emmanuel Lasker, Harry Nelson Pillsbury, and several others. There were many things about this tournament that were really incredible, and Frank Marshall established now his dominance at the turn of the Ed. century. Hello there. So, Cambridge Springs 1904. I'm going to put that on top of No Words Mod of the Century from South Africa. We have positional sacrifices in modern chess just arrived from Chess Informant, and Chess Informant 158, which I'm also going to unwrap and check out what the key features of this are. Featuring all the usual suspects of contributors. Elshon Morfayati, Raphael Atau, Ian Rogers, Eugene Perlstein, Milos Perunovic. Oh, it smells perfect, everyone. It does. Nikolos Natirlis, what is he contributing on? This is fascinating. He has an article on the Petrov. But what is the angle on the Petrov? Nikos Insights. Deep opening ideas that are not just for grandmasters. Ah, he discovers actually one of my favorite lines of the Petrov. The Damiano's defense. The Damiano Petrov. Now I have been using that for decades. That is knight takes e5, knight takes e4. Queen e7, queen e2. Or queen e2, queen e7, queen takes e4, d6. Fabiano Caruana used it in the U.S. Championship. I find it very poetic that the Aurora, since I have recently seen the Northern Lights, features the Northern Lights. Let's get back to our tournament. I don't even know where to begin. I am so feverishly, exceedingly excited, no words. I don't know what to say. How are you? Let's try it. Let's try it in our game today. Having glanced at the article, let's just give it a go.
just like that, we have the Damianos defense decision. Now, what do I wish to do with this fellow? Personally, I've not read it enough to know. Takes, takes. Should we? I don't know. Let's go for it. We are going to continue chipping away at the center the best we can. Restricting our opponent's knight. Maybe we shouldn't have played our knight there first. Can we? Hmm. I don't think that makes sense. This is different from how I would normally play it, to be honest. Absolutely and totally different from how I would normally play it. So F6 takes takes. Let's just do it anyway. YOLO. And now, can I? I do need a recapture, don't I? Yeah. I do need to recapture. And we do need to use the dominance of the light square on d5 to bother our opponent appropriately. Mm-hmm. TFS said greetings from Germany happy new year to all TFS happy new year how are you it is great to see you so let's see here I'm just gonna keep establishing a strong point on that square I don't know if I want to exchange knights, but let's just keep uh, establishing that we have a knight that we want to TFS keep in place. Said, I was offline nine months and now I have only 10 GB for four weeks. What? I'm sorry to hear that. TFS said all okay so far in life what is our opponent up to in this particular respect what do we think he's up to well I don't wish for him to come any closer but I do want to create some counterplay Yes. And now for something. Oh, it's going to be this one. Oh no. That's not good. I miscalculated everybody. I did miscalculate. I saw maybe lost here. Personal fan rookie. I may be Set. lost here. Hi John. Night there, night check. Yeah. We lost it, folks. 
We lost it. Now we're going to have to buckle in. Very, very Arsenal carefully. Arsenal Fanriki said, I'm a chess com aficionado now after I got gifted a sub from Rogan. Oh no. I'm so sorry to hear that. That is so tragic. This looks like it should be good enough. But let's see what happens. Arsenal Fanriki said, was doing daily five free puzzles and they kept going. I was like, did I get given a membership? He has the right colored bishop too. This is very annoying. It may not be that easy. Arsenal Fanriki said, What happened here? Did you hallucinate that a pawn was a bishop? That's a good question. Well, we're just going to bother the daylights out of him. How about that? Maybe, just maybe, we can bother the daylights out of him. Am I going to be able to continue this much, much longer? Much, much longer. Now we cannot do too much. Oh no. Arsenal Fanriki said, if you had one extra move for RG1 and check with the other rook, it was a stranger perpetual. No, it's gotten even stranger. It's gotten much, much stranger. Arsenal Fanriki said, that s what she said. I tell you, I opened this book, I saw one opening, I played it, I survived. In Chess Informant 158 Aurora. Isn't that poetic, though? Arsenal Fanriki. That they have said, the Northern Lights on the cover. That was better than a win. That was better than a win. It was a miraculous save, indeed. Let's just uh, swap out some things here. That was incredibly ridiculous, that's what that was. Incredibly ridiculous. Back to tournament. We survived it, ladies and gentlemen. Gegenspiel. All he had to do was play rook takes c5 and checkmate me. He didn't have to move his king to h4. Chess informant 158. Aurora is out. We have a little bit of work to do this morning. And we're going to do the best game of Chess Informant 158. Arsenal Fanriki. Or the best chess game said, of 157. You're not allowed to call it Gay Genspiel anymore. You have to call it Alternative Preference Spiel. 
Alternative Preference Spiel. TFS, Dad. help me out here. It was a nice cover, so I hope the content is good. The content seems to be amazing. I am very, very touched. I don't know when they chose this cover, but this cover is absolutely stunning. I'm going to run over there really quickly using Chess Informant 157. <coughs> if I don't die. And grab this cover. Copy. Personal fan rookie. Said. I wish I was cultured enough to follow Chess Informant. Book covers? Oh no, I can't do that. I need the image. Save as. Nope, it's a web page. Kingslayer Sloan. Said. John and his books. You only have to start with one. If I had to start with one, I would start with Masters of the Chessboard by Richard Retty. A nice historical um, bringing you to the present. I'm not sure why I didn't play F5 on the first move. Arsenal fan rookie said, good name. Wow, I can't believe our opponent did that. Can I play e5, or should I just continue to bother him in the best way possible? Pie 73. Paula. Well, how else can I pronounce this? My queen is really misplaced on the square. Absolutely and honestly. So now, can I play e5? Arsenal fan rookie said you reckon my great predecessors has value for players of intermediate expert level john tfs said john you are number one on my streamers ranking followed by grandmaster gory tfs well thank you said two others quit streaming can i bother him in any way shape or form Bishop to b5 check looks very bothersome. Who quit streaming? What are we talking about now, Willis? Knight takes c3. Queen takes d4. The knight on c3 is immune. Arsenal <sighs> said... Gori explains chess very well, but I feel like a lot of his stream kind of devolves into Esserman Light TFS 20832. Esserman Light. Esserman Light. If I didn't know any better, I would almost say those are fighting words. Esserman Light. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Esserman Light. That is crazy. So let's see, can I do this, this, that, and the other thing? Let's just barnacle. Pretend like we are doing Arsenal fan rookie. Said. Good you for the You know me, I don't say it unless it's thought out and there is no danger of controversy. Well, what's the fun in that? What do I do with this fellow? Do I hit him? Or do I hit him? I like to, let's just let's just keep our stuff on the up and up here. Queen to g4. This was probably a mistake on my part. Or maybe it wasn't. Wow. You know? He's got F3. 
e5 takes bishop to c5 and then castles queenside let's do it yo Epping Arsenal no. Vanrakey said was thinking about e5 very interesting concept TFS said Grandmaster Zviat Azoria quit streaming he was my favorite oh that's terrible I'm sorry to hear that and now for something completely different two pieces for a ruck Arsenal fan rookie said. Well, I got my piece I liked back. I Melkamayan. He quit two TFS two zero eight three two. Whoa! Totally, totally uncalled for, sir. Hold on. Do we wish to do this any further? Where are you going if I play this move? Just gonna keep up the uh, the goodwill of the people. He's got rook to c7. E6 takes rook to c7, but everything's guarded. Everything should be guarded. Oh, yeah, you're giving me a heart attack as per usual. I'm a little worried here. Pawn takes, rook takes. Whoops. Whoops. Arsenal fan rookie said E3, E3 was not a good, good move. good move. Not at all. It was not a good move. But I did have this incredible concept here that if he played pawn takes, I was going to play rook takes f4. Let's do the analysis board here. So if he played takes, I was going to play rook takes f4. Trying to sack the exchange all over again. So obviously, queen takes us out of the, off the off out of the question. So, am I getting anything here? Let's just say he plays in this direction. Arsenal fan rookie said. HBE just has RCF2 probably. HBE. He just has rook on C to F2 probably. This way. Arsenal fan rookie said. Yeah. Well, you know how to spoil a guy's fun. Do I keep going? Rook f7, then takes. How about this move instead? Rook here, then I capture. Arsenal fan rookie said, then again, at least it's equal for you there. They say Arsenal that said, Bishop takes E3 was best. ID play KH2 after RC8. Towels in space said, I, sh I should stop playing chess. Missed everything. You missed everything? I accidentally played d4. Oh no, I haven't played a white game yet, have I? 
So as white, I don't even know what my first move was. Have I not yet played a white game? Have I played Personal two games with black? Routine. Played the Damianos. Tells in space only stop because you're not enjoying it. We all miss everything. You're good. Indeed, sir. Indeed. I have to decide on what I'm working on before the next game. Ron, hey, ladies and gentlemen. In the event, let's give Ron a super shout out. I'm happy that Arsenal fan Richie is a founding subscriber of the dojo. Namaste, Richie. I really appreciate your support. Arsenal fan rookie said, In fact, don't stop cause you're not enjoying it, otherwise, nobody would play. Don't stop because I'm not enjoying it. Towels in space. I don't know. It got very cryptic on that last one. Don't stop because you're not enjoying it. So Master Chess Dojo is white. I unfortunately have 2401 and 2400. I could either get my percentage down with E4 or I can get my percentage up Arsenal with D4. Fan Let's work on D4. Set. If people only played chess for fun, nobody would play John. <laughs> Indeed. My opponent is a French defense player. Que pasa? <sighs> Weak white squares, eh? All right, this is logical. Whoa, all right, I'm game. Let's see what the world has in store for us. Arsenal fan rookie said, B6 is funky. I've played against this move order a couple of times. There is an idea with BD3, BA6. Towels in space. Owls said, in Judge Aced being frustrated, space. I seem to play on others' mistakes than my own plan. I don't know how to make a plan, basically. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to wait a move. I don't know what I want to do here. All right, so now that that is there, first we're going to take this way. Then we're going to capture this way. And if there's knight hanging, we're going to try to bother him again. Can we? Can we bother him again? Or do I want to try to win a pawn? Bishop takes f2 and castles check. Queen to g5. God, I don't even know what to do here. Arsenal fan rookie. All right, if he's going to give a piece, I want to see it. Towels in space partly creating plans comes from being familiar with potential outcomes. If you play for weakness of a queenside pawn, for example, that can be considered a plan. Just structure your play around said weakness. Now I have to bother him. I don't have a choice. I have to bother him. Arsenal fan rookie said. So now takes nice check. Move. I don't know if this works, but I did take a knight. I think I got a free knight out of the deal. Let's alleviate some of the pressure.
What are you trying to say to me, sir? What are you trying to say? Well, I have to capture. So he, I capture, you capture. Am I giving back the pizza? It's really tragic. If I have to give back the pizza. Rook takes, ah, even nicer. Let's save our Rook and our Bishop at the same time. Dogs and cats living together. That was a nice uh, little bit of outcome. Time to consolidate. So here a check, there a check. I want my rook on the other side of the night. How about that? Guilty conscience. Said. Hey Chess Dojo, how the game's been? I didn't really have a plan for that. I did not have enough of a plan for that. You know what? I'm incredibly short on time. Arsenal fan rookie said BD4 Well, that's annoying. I thought he almost escaped for just a brief moment. It was almost a tactical masterpiece. Guilty conscience 69. I'm never guilty. I never have a guilty conscience about any 69. Guilty conscience. Said. Thank you, sir. That was a nice checkmate. That one definitely Cusick belongs in the... Uh, Said. Hello. Guilty conscience said, ha ha. If that really did work out, yeah, 69, that was a good year. So what was Rookie it? Said, if Rookie one was a question mark move. Sorry. If you looked at your wife's face afterwards, you might feel Easy now, easy. Queen H5 check, yes. I could see that. <coughs> conscience. Said, so I could have kept him from my castling. Guilty conscience, my guilty conscience is feeling I could do much more for the world. Ah, because I allowed bishop takes F2 check. That is why. He can just castle. But he plays queen E7. I get to hammer him with bishop to G5. Queen F7, and then I literally played a relative masterpiece, removing the defender. That was very cool. So this position is the position I want to save. There's so many good tactics out of this position. Let's continue.
This is a good defensive position. Arsenal fan rookie said. Almost positional masterpiece, all the way up until his H5. And we're saving this position. If you feel you can make a positive impression on the world, then even the small acts of kindness make a big impact. Only feel guilty if you deliberately refuse those acts. Fair enough. All right, Ron. Now, it's true that I generally prefer knight c3 against knight f6 because we might get a black mardemer gambit. Should we go with the black mardemer gambit? Let's do it. Said. Arsenal fan rookie, thanks. I was going to take the whole time. Whoops. He threw that in. Do I play queen e2? This is the legendary Ron Hay, ladies and gentlemen. Just to show you how legendary he is, let's look at our record. He is up 220 to 197. He is up 220 to 197. Arsenal fan rookie said looks like this move order undermines the NC3 plan it's a bad car okay <coughs> right now whereas C3 would be he made it a good line were it available this is still theory still theory folks I shouldn't have castled kingside I should have played um, Queenie 2 first I should have played Queenie 2 first and on Bishop e7 then h4 with my rook on h1 Arsenal fan rookie said score one T be good for white I am certain of it well the funny funny part is that in Byron Jacobs classical French book fascinatingly enough in Byron Jacobs classical French book there are 11 games only one of which is won by black not sure where you're headed from here sir do I want to do it that way or do I want to do it that way we're going this way mm-hmm I think that my opponent is gravely mistaken. Mm -hmm. Guilty conscience. Said. Kick his queen with the pawn. Arsenal fan rookie. Come closer. Said. I bow to the master humbly. I maintain I don't believe in these structures for white though there aren't clear enough avenues of exploitation but happy to be proven wrong. Mm, you're after my thingamajiggy. Ron? That's not cool. It's 
So knight takes d5. Said. Ron, hey, stop. TFS. Let's just go for it. Said. It's all for content, Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I have audio and video, but I stay in chat. Thank you so much, sir. And now for something completely different. Takes, 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 takes. TFS. Darn it, I let him castle. The issue with 10 GB for four weeks limit for today 180 megabytes. I let him TFS. castle and I'm down a pizza. Said. Bye. Arsenal fan rookie. Said. You know? Guilty conscience 69B4 is tempting, but it's a very short term threat, pretty easily dealt with, and long term you end up with a rook tied to the A3 pawn, unfortunately. Arsenal That's fan true. Rookie said tfs20832 sorry to hear that Guilty conscience. Said. Yeah, guess I wasn't he thinking about defending that pawn. <laughs> TFS. Said. I can deal with that with setting 160p and watching game on Lycus. Arsenal fan rookie. Said. All good definitely best to look at the forcing moves first anyway and doesn't he get much more forcing than that guilty conscience 69. Oh no. He surprised me. The problem is that he has that. Do I have, what do I have in this position? Do I have anything at all? I know I'm losing. Queen to g4 was Personal in the cards on rook c2. Said. That was my intention Master on rook c2. Dojo, he actually had nxh4 after qh5 bxg5. Oh, I wasn't playing that. I was going to play knight takes e6. But you're right. At what point might he have played knight takes h4? Knight takes h4? <clears throat> yeah, I was eyeballing this one. So this is the moment of truth right here. This is certainly the moment of truth. I was planning on I was planning on either a two minor piece sacrifice. So let's say knight takes h7, king takes h7. Got to throw in a takes b5. Maybe I need to throw in a takes b5 now. Just to keep him honest here. Can't be down too much. Pegasus sway. Said. Saw ghosts are a three, then two h three. <laughs> yeah, actually, unfortunately, if I could have only gotten your bishop to take on uh, 
G5 earlier, HG, that was definitely a realistic possibility. Nicely done, everyone. In honor of Momo Chess. White is better in these lines. I will be an early admitter of it. Arsenal Fanriki said, Pegasus Sway, you played really well. Move order in opening is very interesting. I knew he would go for that. I've had this position before. Where I go for the C5 pawn. And then I go for the long diagonal. That was not where I wanted to be. So now after this take, that take, the knight has to go to h3. C5, knight to D5, all prep. Where does the prep begin and the analysis end, ladies and gentlemen? But the where or where does it end? Arsenal Fanriki said, You think you were in trouble after NB6 C5 or was White better off playing slower with a 4 and trying to exploit E6 that way? That is a good question. That is a very good question. Let's just keep up the threats. We'll keep up the threats, the best we can. So now E3. Bummer. Just to say, Bomer. Yes. So D four. Knight H three. D four. Knight takes E four. just going to pretend as though this is all part of the plan. How about that? All part of the plan, folks. Nothing to see here. Arsenal Fanriki said, I liked B6 there, although BF5 probably better. I need a square for my knight.
Guilty conscience. Said. What is the difference between a GM and I'm? So E3 takes takes. Where does the queen go? Somewhere only we know. Takes takes. I'm unleashing his bishop. I don't like it. Arsenal fan rookie. Said. Guilty conscience 69 apart from a lot of money attaining a grandmaster norm is significantly more difficult. Guilty conscience. Said. So now. Johnny Watt asks the difference. I don't know. To be honest. I really do not know. This is as good a time as any for an exchange sacrifice. Let's just keep everybody, everybody apprised of the situation. E3, D3, H3. H3, then E3. All right, let's just do it. YOLO. We only live once, everybody. Guilty conscience. Said. Have people come to chess at a later age and still hit GM or have I gotta be the first? Arsenal fan rookie. Thank Said. you, Arsenal fan. Beautiful. That was a good attack by the Dutch. Arsenal fan rookie. Said. We'll ignore them playing X4 instead of BXH3 though. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was probably winning as well. I think, well, it's clearly better for black. I don't know how much winning it is. But I'm certainly having a lot more fun against this London. As white needed to convert. And this is a normal trap, honestly. What did it think I was going to do? Knight to b8, queen to b6. Said. When did you start playing chess, John? I actually started playing chess very, very late in life. Unfortunately. Knight to b8 and knight to b6 are almost equal. So queen to b3 is a problem. I'm not really threatening that, Guilty interestingly conscience. enough. I'm Said just not threatening that. When? Uh... When I was 16. 15? I might have learned the moves when I was 15. I liken myself to... And now black is better. So knight h5 was on my mind here. But unfortunately I was going to play e5 straight away. D takes e5 and then knight to g4. Or knight to Arsenal h5. I was key. actually considering Guilty knight h5 here. Guilty conscience 69. Alexander Kotov started at about 19 and attained GM title, I think, but generally pretty early starters who attain GM title. But for older players such as ourselves, we need to break the rules by Guilty conscience 69. Yep. Alexander Kotov started at about 19 and attained it's GM worth saying title, again. I think, but generally pretty early starters who attain GM title. But for older players such as ourselves, we need to break the rules by being more dedicated and more open-minded. Absolutely. So I was going to play that, then I touch-moved and gave away most of my advantage. Queen to d2, queen e7, knight e4. I should just play e5. Ah, yes. 
e5, and if d takes e5, d takes e5, I always have the discovery on anything on that square, right? Let's say he plays bishop takes e5, then I just get the plain old discovery. He takes, I take, no? Ah, because the rook is hanging. The knight is hanging. Arsenal fan rookie. Bishop takes g7. Oh, and there is a oh, and there is a ton of pressure on f2. Yeah. Guilty conscience. Said. TBF. If I could hit GM starting at the age of 21, that would be crazy cool. How come nobody has the Twitch uh, name NGL? Not gonna lie. So I did not play E5. Instead, I played Knight E4, and I thought this was rather entertaining. And they wanted me to play D5 straight away. How boring, right? Personal fan rookie said, "Guilty conscience 69. I started playing at 26 and am about expert strength. Given I've not actually spent a lot of time studying, so no reason you couldn't T. But one T happened overnight." That's crazy, Arsenal fan. Believe it or not, I actually thought you were not even 30 yet. So did you learn? during COVID with me. Bishop takes e5, queen takes e5, and I thought rook to d1 was the best move. That was the move that I was expecting. Arsenal fan rookie. And then he gets the blockade Seven. on the dark squares. I learned in two thousand I learned in two thousand and sixteen. Arsenal fan rookie. Said You're catching up with I'm me. I'm thirty four now. Pegasus sway. Said <laughs> Thanks for the help, John. Your win made me win the tournament today. He plays the Saran very well. Saranen? Is that true? Ah, yes. That is true. I think I play everyone except for you pretty well these days. Just Guilty being modest. Said. Yeah, would take serious dedication, might go insane, and probably would regret it, but got some reason I kinda want to. Well, I don't Arsenal blame anybody. Rookie. Said, life is too short for regrets. Yeah, I think you have to go for it. Whatever your dreams are, you have to go for it. You cannot be pulling any punches. So with uh, Chess Informant 158, by the way, I think I am going to try to do an instructional stream immediately Brody. after this one. Said, why don't I schedule Hi. it for 6 a.m. in another 15 minutes? Arsenal fan rookie said amazing R Ronnie 216 how are you I really find this very poetic that they made this Aurora and I went to Iceland for my anniversary and I'm going to Reykjavik I actually was offered an article uh, opportunity for uh American Chess Magazine. I don't know if anyone's actually filled the spot in the American Chess Magazine. Fan Let me take a quick look at the American Said. Chess Magazine that I'll I have try here. try and be more silent than usual. I don't. I spam so much in the text to speech sort of takes over. I do apologize about it. There's a newer edition than this one. American Chess Magazine. Have my new in chesses here. With my club on the cover, offer spiel winning. Have to have to Arsenal be very proud team. of those guys. Said, Jen Shahid makes me hearty. Guilty conscience. Makes you Said. hearty. Melting face. <laughs> she is a relative absolute sweetheart. She's a dream. She's a dear. She's very intense at the table. Ronnie. Said. Fine just got accused of cheating yesterday by a Twitch streamer, sad life. Well, if it was a chess.com streamer, it doesn't count. Because they do have every right to be paranoid. 
Yesterday I had piss off Kramnik in my uh, in my Instagram stream title. Said, true. Grode. That's a really. Said, not sure what to do. What's up, DG Road? How Grode. you doing, man? Said, snowstorm for Boston this weekend. What's in Boston this weekend? I'm gonna give Chess and Foreman another shout out. For those of you, this uh, 157 also has the most important theoretical novelty, which is very, very key as well. So I'm gonna attempt. Grode said, Boston Chess Congress. Oh, yeah, Charles the Boston Space. Chess Congress. Said, I missed that. I've played yes, that no a few storm times. In Sweden also. Arsenal fan rookie said, Ronnie 216 will encourage them to report you and get on with your life. I've had accusations in the past. If you look at it as an attack on integrity, it's tilting, but try to remember that it's a very serious issue in chess and online makes it too easy. Just look at it as doing something right in your game. That's right. Grode said, right, but I'm currently scheduled to fly Boston into Houston Monday morning. Hmm. Well, the snowstorm is supposed to hit us as well, right? So, I don't know if it's any better here trying to fly Ronnie from here. Said, Arsenal fan Ricky, thank you. Yeah, Richie's on it. Is it Ricky or is it Richie? I've always always called you Richie because your name is Richard. But the speech chat Arsenal has had Ricky. me second guessing. Said, <laughs> Thanks, Rich Arsenal I. fan. Towels in space. A. F. Richie. John the first always play London, and I've noticed many players are responding with Kings Indian. Very annoying. Not really sure how to respond to that. Then I usually continue with London, but mostly run into troubles. Then. It's much easier to just stop playing the London. Said. Right, but I can stay out west. Grode. Oh, that's lovely. Said, that's a lovely I'm option. In Vegas until Saturday. That s easy. Grode. That's a lovely option. Said. I'm flying from Lax to Vegas tonight. Grode. Said. The question is, will Steve kill me? <laughs> Towels in space. <laughs> Said. Steve. It's the only thing I know. Towels in space. Well, I disagree with you. You know how the pieces move. I'm just asking you to accept another plan of attack using uh, the way the pieces move to not play the London, but instead use pawns Arsenal to control Fenrich. the center, Said. build Tells up a big center. There is a benefit to playing the London against Kid, which is that it's a deter round for Black Castling Kingside and taking the Bishop. You can save tempo on H3 because open H file even at cost of DS Bishop is good for White. That's true too. But the King's Indian is the Grandmaster recommended approach against the London with the pawn on Grode. D6 in general. Said, the only reason to care is this a national championship. Arsenal fan rookie. Wait a minute now. Said, sorry, John. <laughs> no, I mean in general, uh, Grandmaster Mike wrote, uh, near and dear to DG wrote, is basically always recommending the King's Indian against many of those uh, random queen pawn openings because it gives black an automatic plan of action to attack Said, the dark squares. What are your favorite mating patterns just learning them? Uh, the ones that help me win? Why else would I go to Houston in early January? Okay, you've got me there. It is championship season. Ron Hay. Arsenal fan Strong. Rookie. Said. Anastasia S. Mate and Arabian Mate stunning Ronnie 216. Oh. If we're going in that direction, Blackburn's Mate with Bishop to 8 7. 
But in general, someone will ask me which piece is my Bro. favorite piece, and I'll say Set. the one that helps yeah, me sorry, win. Yes, I'm not at the camp. No, it's Bro. relatively smooth. Set. There's no one. Like, do I have to know those patterns by name, like Reedy Mate, etc.? On Chessable, there is a. Bro. Set. I heard two positive reports though today. On Chessable, there are mating patterns books that you can either get if you really want to learn the mating patterns. But in general, I recommend the 1000 best of the best. I mean, 1001 brilliant stratagems and 1001 brilliant checkmates. Road. Said. From campers. Arsenal fan That's routine. good. Said. I was a little the verbose yesterday. The icon and Renaud has the names of fundamental mates and is a great red as well. And then we had layers happening. Layers of uh, verbosity, unfortunately, and we need to get... Yeah, the art of checkmate by Khan and Renaud, if you were going with actual books. Yeah, absolutely. So does the art of checkmate by Khan and Renault have... The kill box mate. The only one that I, I really disagree with is the kill box mate because it's such a military expression. Khan and Renault. I need to reorganize my checkmating pattern books. Yeah, I need to reorganize my checkmating pattern books. It actually might be in the generic section. Let me take a look over here. Uh, by, by author. Usually by author. Kotov. Kislik. Alexa, turn on Dojo. The art of the middle Arsenal like fan routines. Said. You will pick them up over time as you study them, Ronnie 216. I don't think you need to know the names of the mates, honestly. I, I've I only accidentally learned the mates much the names of the mates much later in life because of uh these books that are emphasizing the names, such as uh 1001 tactical Pegasus mating sweat. patterns and stuff like that. Said. HTTPS www YouTube com watch v4 gfpn jizz ruti 108 London d4 f5 pf4. Okay now, Ronnie. Oh no. Said. Also, I'm learning tactics like Swiss chin zug, etc. I will check out Levy later. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there are quite a number of those types of tactics that you need to learn hand over hand, fist over fist. But like I said, in Chessable, you will actually get a lot of free content, especially Personal in the tactics Vanderkey. department. Said. Swiss Chin Zug is delicious, only 5.3 though. 5.3%. As in its occurrence. All of these tactics, by the way, if you wish to really find them, learn. Said. Sensei, don't we have something for TDS to ingor the message? Um. For. I, fan I haven't looked into filtering said, by. As in its alcohol volume master chess dojo. <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> said. Windmill is my favorite. <laughs> 5.3%. Exactly. So, uh, puzzle themes, and uh, you can actually find uh, quite a number of the motifs here. Zugzwang. So, basically, you have to go to puzzle dashboard puzzle themes, and you will be able to find a healthy uh, variety of tactical problems Arsenal and one of the routine. things is that you can actually Set. change it to easiest Saucy. versus hardest so for example in this particular case 
we're just basically going to defend and attack at the same time. Now, I don't gain anything by being on easiest, but because I'm teaching chess, that is my main goal here for the most part. Now, wait a minute. My first thought is check, knight check, check, king to e2, bishop to g4, and I have three things on the f3 square with the exception Arsenal of that one. Said. Wins a queen qh1 ng1 nh2 k2 bg4. Knight h2, king e2, bishop g4, but he has f3, doesn't he? I mean, I considered that. Arsenal Fanriki said, f3, there is qg2. Fair enough. This is not an easy puzzle at all. F3, Queen G2. I was also thinking that we have Castle's Queen side to go after this bishop as well. And it ends right there. Because this is just going to be a little bit of a nightmare. Huh? So it doesn't quite win the Queen. Ronnie said, I found one video of 11 hours covering hundreds of gambits, lol, but gambits are for beginners, I guess. No, no. Arsenal fan rookie. Gambits on the contrary. Said, gambits are... It wasn't too easy, I agree, cause BF3 took some figuring out. Yeah. Uh, but Ronnie, gambits are the best way to you, for you to help learn the balance through experience of time for space and material basically you're giving you're getting time perhaps even space in exchange for material and this is somewhat good for you to know about on average yeah bishop f3 queen g2 Very cleverly done. Ronnie said, like Halloween Gambit is losing, most Gambits are losing according to engine. Ah, uh, but let's, let's look into that a little deeper now. Just because a Gambit is claimed to be losing doesn't mean that it doesn't win. Here. For example, I have a very good record with the Halloween Gambit. Hold on, I need to go back in time. So, e4, Arsenal fan e5, said, knight f3. Ronnie 200, Ronnie 216, Benko Gambit, Schle Schleeman Defense, they're all playable. The Elephant Gambit of those three is definitely the one that is much trickier. So yeah, I believe it or not, in this particular position, I have a 70, I've played this uh, knight takes e5 73% of the time, and I've beat some fairly okay players. Now this is time and space at, at the most. Now granted, you're only up one pawn as black. I'm going to say this again. You're really only up one pawn. The reason why you're only up one pawn in this position is because white space advantage and the time advantage, not to mention the coordination of the pieces in entwined with Fan the. Rookie. Said, this opening is horrifically hard to defend as black if you re not aware of the theory. That's correct. So after a move like knight to g8, which is standard. I guess I've won all four games with bishop d3 and two games with bishop c4. 
Personally, I still prefer bishop to d3 with the idea of f4, f5, only because if I play bishop to c4, black will play d5. Who suggested c6 yesterday? I actually showed this position yesterday, and someone did Ronnie suggest c6. Said, so if you were black, how to defend? I might just give back the piece. Uh, one of the old time tested remedies slow. in this position is Said. just to play chess after John, bishop to g4. The cast, John. I'm hoping we'll have time this afternoon to do it if I get home early. Said. But I have Depends a. Depends on what white plays, but usually black frees themselves with an f6 break, Ronnie. Yeah, but I mean, it's not that easy. But guess what? You can tell by my percentages as white that you can tell by my percentages as white that even against players that are moderately equal in strength uh, it works very very well I wouldn't play it against a grandmaster but basically you're, it's, these are what I would call club openings Arsenal fan Richie earlier in the stream ladies and gentlemen we also did the unboxing of chess informant number 158 this is for Roken, by the way. We actually had the whole Just Chatting screen open just for him. We did the pseudo-official unboxing with the actual box and everything. Kingslayer Sloan, ladies and gentlemen, and the French Bishop Chess Cast. If you've not yet followed it, please add it to your podcast mm -hmm. regimen. All of the links that I could find immediately are here. And, of course... For those of you still here, please subscribe on YouTube. You don't have to hit the bell for any annoying notifications because you can always just come back to it when you remember. Sway. Just like I do many Set. channels. When playing white and getting into the French defense, black S move a six can be a useful move. Try to trick white into the opening with another move. Order gambit is also interesting. It was very good. So you're trying to trick me into tricking you. Indeed, e6 and a6. It was a great move. It was a great Growth. move. Said, we'll have to decide what to do. I tell you what, I always Arsenal play things by team. ear. I don't stress over Said, those things too much because Milner weather Theory is Gambit what is it is. Gambit is tough to face as black if you don't know theory as well. Korchnoi Gambit is perfectly sound too. Yeah, it's a very right. nice gambit. Of course, my gambit recommended by many. I just uh, try to play simple openings. But in reality, uh, you should change up your style, Ronnie, and either attack the center, hold the center, or give up the center. So, for example, to me, when you play the London opening, you're somewhat giving up the center. You're sort of—it looks like you're trying to hold the center, but in reality, black is actually barreling toward you. So, DG Road. I wouldn't fret over it too much. Just play it by ear and Group. enjoy the adventure. Said, yes, but this is a highly unusual situation. So the Boston Chess Congress. Yeah, it's a tough one. So for Steve, I don't know, it depends on what your priorities are. Keep an eye on the weather reports for the next two days. I don't know what the refund status is. By the way, yesterday, GP Bear cheered 100 bits. And I told him I would mention uh, an extra word of thanks today because it was very kind of him. Ronnie said. Because he wanted Lombardi so can stories. can you recommend some openings to try to play? I'll learn me immediately. Um, yeah, absolutely. Basically, I don't really want you to try opening so much as Arsenal play through team. a good player's games Said. and copy their vote what rating are you ronnie but basically play through a good player's games ronnie. and copy their openings Said. 1700 oh, on no. chess com Arsenal oh, no. Said. principles are arguably more important
Yeah, learn all the basic opening principles. Study the games of Morphe. Play Morphe's openings, basically, is what I might can enjoy. Study Morphe's 10 best games. You can find those on chess.com in lesson formats. You can find them almost anywhere. You can also look up a few videos of a particular player. Take each world champion and play their openings for a week to two weeks. Just don't worry about whether or not you know the theory because the process of finding a good move in every opening remains the same. You know, getting your pieces active, getting your king safe, controlling the center. Not moving the same piece twice if you don't have to. And basically placing your queens and rooks so you don't lose any time very, very well. So in general, enjoy chess and stretch yourself out. Pretend like you're in the recess yard when you're, uh, you know, in elementary school. Get the most out of your life. Enjoy it. Enjoy playing and go for it. That's really what you have to do on average. Now, if I am going to do an instructional stream in a short period of time, by the way, then I'm going to have to actually uh, check out Regroup. And the instructional game that we're probably going to be doing is most important game of the preceding volume, page 7. The Deep versus Svidler. That is a nice miniature. Although I hate to see Svidler go down like that. I'm not poor. Got it. Ronnie said, Do you have any regrets about chess except not Orf opening you have that I should avoid? You seem experienced. I do regret spending too much time studying the opening and not enough time actually learning the game. Uh, the Russians are right. The end game is where you should start to a great extent because it helps you master the coordination Growth. and fluency Set. of the pieces. Maybe the answer is to fly Saturday morning before the storm. There you go. That could well work. You're flying to Houston, you mean? Saturday morning before the storm. Ronnie said, "So just play more games." And Great. and look over said, your games frequently too so for I'm the not experience. Completely screwing Steve. No, exactly not completely screwing Steve. <laughs> it's all relative. Great. Said. We'll need to talk it over with Sophia. Yeah. It just depends on what your priorities are. I know that the national, being there for the, for the national championship is uh, one thing. But um, it's a tough call. It's always a tough call. Where do we go from here? I'm going to leave you for a short period of time. Attila Terzo. Maybe. If we're going to bring you right back. Kingslayer Sloan. Said. CYA John. We're going to raid Momo Chess. And that way we'll come right back with a stream, an instructional stream of the 1,157 best of the best. After all, the 1,000 uh, best of the best is basically the 100 best games. I'm doing only the 100 best games of the 100, and then the 157th game has been determined this volume Ronnie. in one form at 158. Said, I do have a game which requires analysis. Can you help? Oh, I would put it in the Discord. I don't have, I don't know that I can do it today because I'm rushing off and I also Arsenal have fan a court date Said, as well. When abouts will that be? 
I'm going to be back in approximately 30 minutes to do this because it's going to be short. We're going to do a 25 minute stream and it may be for subscribers only to uh, limit the chatter during the instructional stream, ironically. In any event, everybody, cheers and shout. Enjoy Momo Chess. I, let me put up Arsenal the... Arsenal uh, fan said, I'll stay quiet. TDS is irritating with how much I spam. That's true. I actually might not have said the TTS on John. as much. DG Road, Kingslayer Sloan. If you've not yet subscribed to the YouTube, please do. It helps the channel immensely.